Hi guys, uh, today we're going to take a look at Grimvale, minus 4 for level 200 plus Paladin for AoE hunting. So the reason I recommend it for level 200 plus is because f the Familiar is very, very helpful in this spawn. It makes it such a breeze and a fun place to hunt. So I usually hold off until level 200. And I think once you are level 200, this place is pretty fun. It's a nice alternative spot for this level range. The experience is pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I guess I can recommend it and we can take a look at the results. While using the familiar, we can get about 1.6kk raw, while the familiar is on cooldown, we can get about 1.4kk raw. So on average, this is giving us about 1.5kk raw on level 200, which is about 2.25kk on 150%. The loot is kind of average. Um, it's usually about 100k per hour. It depends on how lucky you get, because there's the relic swords which drop here, which are worth 25k each, and they're quite rare. Um, so it depends how lucky you get with those, but on average, I find it's about 100k profit per hour, which basically covers your imbuements and doesn't really leave much else. For difficulty, I give it about a 3 out of 10. It's not very difficult, uh, but saying that if you somehow manage to get trapped, you know, into an 8 box with werebears and uh, werebores, then they do hit a lot. Might be a bit dicey, but in general, it shouldn't be too bad. For Beast Jerry, you'll need about 3.5 hours for werewolf, werebear, and about 6 to 7 hours for werebore. With regards to requirements, so as mentioned, I recommend level 200 plus uh, for a paladin for AoE hunting because the familiar is so damn useful. Uh, you can also hunt here at level 90, which is also very good, but that will be a totally different video, uh, single target hunting. I think I already uploaded this video some months ago, so you can check that out if you want. This is for AoE. Uh, you don't need any access quest. Yep, you don't need any access quest. Uh, you just need to uh, sail to Grimvale. And this place can effectively be hunted by pretty much everyone. Um, it's definitely a very popular spot on new servers. Pretty much everyone can hunt here, get pretty damn good results. So, um, yeah, if you're on a new server, it's probably going to be pretty popular. If you're on an old server, it's probably going to be dead because people are too high level to really get anything here. Um, I recommend all standard imbuements, your crit, mana, life, leech, uh, don't need any protection imbuement. And I recommend prioritizing physical protection followed by skill gear. So as you can see, uh, it's about 95% physical with a few percent of life drain. With regards to supplies, if you have all the powerful imbuements, like I mentioned, you're probably only going to need about 200 great mana potions per hour. No, no spirit potions, approximately 1300 diamond arrows and approximately 600 GFBs. Uh, charms and wheel are NA and the character in the video you will see as level 202 RP of 120 distance skill and 25 magic level and has no praise and no charms active. So let's take a quick look at the route. So this is a uh, Grimvale minus four. So you come in somewhere here, but usually I'll kill this room, you know, do my first pull somewhere here. I will then go through to here, do a big pull somewhere around here. I'll go south and to the left, do another pull somewhere here. Once that is killed, I leave and go east do a pull here, then I go south and into this little room here, usually kill everything here. Then I go south, west and north, usually do a small pull here. There's usually only three monsters, I think, which isn't great, but uh, you kind of need to to make sure that there's enough respawn. I then go further west, do another pull here. Then I go north into this room, do a pull here. Now, at this point, what you can do, but you don't have to, is you can actually go up a level. So you can go to the stairs, go up to minus three, and do a pull by the stairs over there on minus three. It's also pretty good. It doesn't really add much time to your lap, uh, and it make it helps the respawn, uh, you know, catch up. So I do recommend actually doing that, going up to minus three and doing a pull there as well. And then you go back down to minus four and restart the loop as I just showed you. And that's all I do. I pretty much do this exact loop on every vocation. So if you're watching this as an EK or a mage, I would probably do the exact same thing. Uh, and yeah, I think this, this place is pretty neat. It's it's probably one of my favorite places in the game now that I think about it. I think Grimvale is pretty well designed. The monsters are well balanced, well designed. Uh, and I find it pretty fun. So yeah, can definitely recommend it. Okay, so i uh, just going to do a quick shout out to all my YouTube members in a moment, and uh, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll play the video now, so uh, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.